The round of eight has been revealed. Neck and neck Brood Wars competition has taken place in the city of Seoul as eight talented RTS stars advance in season 13 of the Africa TV StarCraft League. An incorrect build order or regrettable choices in battle can result in a speedy finish for these players. So as the competition narrowed down its finalists, fans knew only the best would make it to the main event's single elimination bracket. Group A of the round of 16 saw season five victor Rain step forward as the leader of his division earning victories against Royal and Light as he took his place in the playoffs. Fans witnessed a tiebreaker game on the map of Revolver, where the final conflict took place in the centre of the map. Siege tanks, vultures and goliaths were reduced to rubble as a handful of Protoss carriers sealed the deal for rain. Yeah, the slow zealots are coming up though. I, this could be a little bit risky here for rain, but the carriers are still destroying the tanks. The goliaths are not high enough in numbers. Uh, that it seems like they can kill the interceptors fast enough, so they're effectively not doing anything. GG. Despite the loss, Light prevailed in Group A's deciding round as he reverse swept reigning ASL champion Mini in two nail-biting games. While Light's ground infantry went to work in Game 3, his Goliaths and Wraiths dismantled Mini's carriers in seconds. The strong late-game units were blown out of the sky, and Light got a second chance at ASL stardom. Over in Group B, it was leading Zerg player Action who went completely undefeated in the round of 16, overwhelming Shuttle and Rush to advance in the Brood Wars competition. Games were over quickly when Action's Zerglings found a way inside his opponent's base. Through sheer numbers alone, he won the ground game and flawlessly took his place in the final bracket. It's, it's a, a very map-specific trick that you can especially abuse on a map that's this young and untested. And, um, yeah, I mean, he basically knew that even though the wall is there, you might not actually have it plugged up, and so GG. Terran prodigy Rush found a way to break through to the finals after a clutch victory against Season 1 champion Shuttle. Making his final stand in the battle for Allegro, the iconic duo of siege tanks and vultures paid off big time at the foot of Shuttle's natural. With turrets providing vision and anti-air defense, it wasn't long before the Protoss player called GG. Over to Group C, where the competition's top performing Terran player, JYJ, continuously broke through his opponent's defenses and claimed a first-class ticket to the round of eight. Paired up against three of the competition's deadliest Zerg players, JYJ made short work of both Solki and Jadong as he celebrated his final victory on the map of Monopoly. Jadong's Hydralisk brood looked scary, but with a counterplay of his own, JYJ marched siege tanks and goliaths into battle. The Zerg player's economy was in tatters, and his main base was crushed. But this push is coming too fast. Yeah, um, again, big tech reset here. I don't think that layer was actually killed, or the hive, or whatever the main tech was inside oh. the search main, but like, this is over, dude. There's no yeah. way that Jadon could play through this. Yep. In a test of Zerg's strategies, reaction, and knowledge, it was the legendary Soul Key who would 2-0 his South Korean Zerg counterparts to earn a second chance in the competition's round of 16. The final conflict was fought in the air, with Scourge and Mutalisks taking over the sky. Sulky narrowly won the numbers game, shredding his opponent's air units to pieces at the foot of his own base. Dude, he's clearly doing something wrong, because Sulky just pursues and comes in with, I think, what is fatal damage. I think Jadong is out of the ASL, bro. Rounding out the top eight for ASL Season 13 was none other than Group D's Soma beating out Protoss rivals Best and Bisu to take the crown and advance in the Africa TV tournament. It was deja vu on the final map of Butter as Zerglings cascaded through a weak line of defense. Zealots and cannons weren't enough to stop Somar's consistent Zergling assault. Zergs are so good now that they, they'll know exactly how many Speedlings can just kill a cannon and every, everything's sort of hinged on having a cannon. Does that make sense? Like. Yeah. One cannon, and this has always been the issue with this build, is like the one cannon, uh, and by the way, it's weird, you just saw somebody like breathe this big sigh early if he knows. Yep, GG. 
Bisu made good on his loss when paired against Queen in the best of three qualifying rounds. A narrow tiebreaker victory on the map of Eclipse would make a glorious end to Group D and to the round of 16, as Psionic Storms obliterated Queen's combination of Hydralisks and Lurkers. Protoss prevailed as Bisu claimed the final spot in the top eight. Yeah, and as more and more army dies off, this looks worse and worse for Queen. And that's going to be it, GG Bisu! The single elimination bracket is set as each player prepares to fight for the Season 13 title and trophy. With reigning champion Mini down and out in the round of 16, the mantle of ASL Victor is open for the taking for any one of these Brood Wars professionals. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.